Welcome back to Cartagena, Colombia, where they're celebrating their 200th year of independence. We salute them, and we're about to go over there and celebrate a carnival in style. But first and foremost, it's time to return to the States for Health Beat. We're talking to a world-renowned OBGYN that's made it her passion to help women in the post-childbearing years. Doctor, welcome to Get Connected. It's great to be with you, Todd. Doctor, you're world-renowned OBGYN, but first and foremost, what would you give to advice for new moms? Well, advice for new moms is take it easy, relax, enjoy your baby. That's so hard to do. We get really revved up and worried about doing things wrong. Mother Nature is actually really smart. We should just um, go with it. That's certainly great, but share with us some of the information that has you excited coming out of the OBGYN conference. Well, we're talking about lots of things at the conference, but what's really exciting to me is some survey data that we have about women and options for permanent birth control. What we found was that 76% of women, um, although they were finished having their families, they were done, only 24% talked to their doctors about it, and only 12% know about a new non-surgical option that's available. It was new. We now have 10 years of data on this procedure. It's called Assure, and I'm here on behalf of Assure to tell women about this option, which so few actually know about. That's certainly very interesting. Can you tell us a little bit more what it means, permanent birth control option? Certainly. You know, people need to be confident that they're completed their childbearing, but it's nice to know that there are non-surgical options available for people. So. Typically, we know from the survey that 90% of women know about the surgical options. They know about vasectomy. They know about tubal ligation. What they don't know is that there's an office-based, non-surgical option available to them that will permanently block the fallopian tubes and prevent pregnancy. It does it with a natural tissue barrier. It does it with absolute confidence. And at this conference, we're talking about the 10-year data which means that over 500,000 women worldwide have had this procedure done, and it's dramatically effective. The outcomes have been so much better and so exciting for us as providers. 99.8% effectiveness. That is just truly fantastic. If a woman chooses the permanent birth control option, how does that affect her menstrual cycle? It has absolutely no impact on the menstrual cycle whatsoever. This is a non-hormonal option. Her cycles continue to be totally normal and natural as they would have been without it. That's certainly interesting. And what transition issues might she have when she goes into menopause? None at all, because this has no hormonal um, issues. It's not in the uterus. It's, not, it's just a natural part of her body that has grown in and blocked off the fallopian tubes. So there's nothing to be concerned about as she transitions into menopause. Doctor, why is it that women have so much trouble talking about these issues with their doctor? Well, I think there's a, a real disconnect, and that's one of the things that the survey told me as a physician, was that when a woman comes into my office, my expectation as her doctor is that she will raise issues with me that are, that are of concern to her. She expects that I'm going to raise the issues with her. And so I think we have a communication gap, we have a mismatch in communication, and expectations are different on both sides. And it's something I think we doctors need to learn a lot about, but it's also something, as I encourage my patients and women, come with a list. We get into the doctor's office, we take our clothes off, and we're in a cold and hostile environment, and we tend to lose our minds. Uh, we don't think about all those things that we intended to talk about when we walked in the door. So go in with a list, talk to your healthcare provider, and then of course when I'm teaching healthcare providers, bring up issues with women because women do tend to forget things when we walk in the office. Well that's certainly great advice. Where can we go to learn more information? Well number one again, talk to your doctor. But there's a great website. It's www.essure, it's E-S-S-U-R-E dot com. Great information for women about non-surgical permanent birth control. Well, doctor, thanks for your insights and your passion on this subject matter. You're welcome. It's great to be with you, Con. 
If you want to learn more about other Health Beat segments we've done, simply log on to our Get Connected website at contv.com. When we return, we're headed across the Caribbean to Cartagena, Colombia, where they're celebrating their 200th year of independence, dancing, flavor, but most important, passion. And it comes alive right here when we come back. Thank you so much for watching. Are you tired of negative news? We are. And that's why we're creating a movement. By keeping it real. With what you need to know. It's more than what's happening. It's bringing hope back to our lives. So go to contv.com and join our movement. <laughs>